scientists, welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lankin, I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose, and I am here with an outdoor experiment where we're going to get fresh water from salt water. So as usual, we'll go ahead and go through all of our materials, we will build something, <laughs> we'll go ahead and do the experiment, and then we'll come back and talk about what happened. All right, so I have most of my materials here, and I say most because there are a couple of things that I can't put out here for you to see. We'll get to that in just a second. So you're going to need salt, doesn't matter what kind, plastic wrap, a water source, a mid-sized bowl, and you want ones that kind of have a smaller size, so kind of a squat one, a container that'll go inside of this bowl, a tablespoon, a glass, or just something that you can go ahead and mix in, some food coloring, a rubber band, and I have a tennis ball. <laughs> now, if you don't have a tennis ball at home, that's totally fine. Once you see us putting these together, you'll be able to think, hmm, what could take the place of this? You may be able to find something at home that could supplant that or do its job. Now, I said there were some things that weren't out on this table. <laughs> so here they are. You're going to need a sunbeam, and you're going to need a sunbeam that lasts for six or seven hours. So if you did our sun prints activity, if you remember where that sunbeam is, that may work really well for you. If you didn't do that activity, no worries. All you're gonna to need to do is go outside and find a sunbeam that stays in one place for that amount of time. So when I say that amount of time, that leads me to the final thing that you're gonna need. You're gonna need patience. <laughs> so reach down really deep and find that patience where I can do an experiment for that amount of time and go ahead and make sure that you have that with you when you do this experiment. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. We'll go do our experiment and we'll come back and talk about how it went and the why behind it. Let's do this.
fresh water come from? Because that didn't just magically appear and it wasn't there when we put this together and put it outside. Well, let's talk about that. Once this was done, and back in one piece, <laughs> we had this and set it outside in the sun and we waited a long time. Well, while that time was passing, the sun was heating up this and the water inside was also warming up. Well, think about some other experiments that you've done in the past. What happens to water when it heats up? It evaporates or it turns into a gas, goes into the air. Well, that's what was happening here. But because we had this plastic coat over the top, that evaporated water couldn't go very far. <laughs> so once it hit the plastic, it started to do something called condense, which means it was gathering together, it was getting stuck at the top there. Well, once it was so heavy that it couldn't just stay on the plastic anymore, those drops started to then roll down the plastic and into our container. And that's where the fresh water went. Can you think of maybe where we see this in the natural world? I'll give you a hint. If you walk outside right now, you may see something white in the blue sky. Those are clouds. And those are made of evaporated water. I know they look like cotton balls, like you should be able to touch them. <laughs> well, we made a little mini version of this here. So just like here, the water will get warm on the Earth's surface, then evaporate into the air, condensing clouds, and then rain or snow if it's cold, <laughs> and come back down to Earth. Well, let's come back to our example here because not all water is just water. We had salt and we had food coloring in here. Well, this kind of stands for what might happen in the ocean. The salt stays in the ocean and the water then evaporates. This is called desalination. Let me put that down there because it's a really big word. Desalination. The water was desalinated or the salt was taken out of it when it evaporated. Some settlements or some people who camp, uh, some smaller cities, that's how they actually get their fresh water is they desalinate salt water from the ocean. So that's how you can get fresh water from salt water using a whole bunch of different uh, materials from your house as well as the sun from outside. Hope you enjoyed that activity. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like to show us your activity and how your contraption went together and how you desalinated, please do. We'll put a hashtag below. Again, 30 years of memories, and this could be one of them. We'd love to see any of your memories. And thank you very much for sharing. So thank you again for joining us. My name is Marie Lanka, and I will see you next time here at Science is Everywhere. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.